In the beginning, there was nothing, or so the Big Bang theory suggests. And then, boom. The birth of our universe. Like all families, our solar system's members have a regular origin story. Only four centuries ago, Galileo discovered that the Earth revolves around the Sun and not vice versa. Now, we know that the Earth does not revolve around the Sun. Technically, what is going on is that the Earth, Sun, and all the planets are orbiting around the center of mass of the solar system. As science advanced, we started asking the question, are we alone? This question alone has fascinated and disturbed us. So much so that we have launched space exploration programs to look at the universe through the lens of telescopes. And the agency leading the charge is NASA. One such development has been in the field of discovering new, habitable planets in our vast universe. There are countless number of unknown planets scattered across our universe. We have already discovered an astonishing 4,935 exoplanets, and recently, we came across 65 new planets that has taken our tally to 5,000. The latest batch of 65 exoplanets, planets outside our immediate solar system, were added to the NASA Exoplanet Archive on March 21, marking the start of the planetary odometer. You may be wondering how we're discovering these exoplanets that are millions of light years away from us. Well, thanks to the Hubble Space Telescope, we can peer into this extensive universe, and very soon, the James Webb Space Telescope will also join the mission after its mirrors are completely ready. These two have been vital for making important discoveries and providing priceless information about the cosmos. The JWST is the most advanced telescope ever made, and it is 100 times more powerful than its predecessor. With its help, we can unravel the secrets of this boundless expanse. We have discovered all kinds of planets, small, rocky worlds, gas giants, larger than Jupiter, and extremely hot, inhabitable planets. Out of all of these, there are a few planets that stand out, Kepler-1649c is one such planet. Its characteristics are very similar to Earth. In fact, this is the most habitable planet that we have discovered that may shelter life. Another such planet is Proxima Centauri b, located 4.1 light years from Earth. It orbits in the habitable zone of the red dwarf star, Proxima Centauri, which is the closest star to the Sun. Other exoplanets that are relatively close to Earth and may support life are Barnard Star B, Ross 128b, Luton B, and Wolf 1061c. These celestial spheres can be considered a viable option if we were to ever go looking for habitable planets in the near future. Till now, we have been able to find 55 of these Earth-like planets. With the rate at which our technology is advancing, who knows what we might be capable of in the future. Wouldn't it be amazing to come across a planet that can sustain life? Our next goal, as of now, is to take life to the red planet, Mars. Thanks Elon. At the moment, Mars is not habitable, as it doesn't have a magnetic field, and this factor is very vital for humans to survive on any planet. But this is about to change very soon. One way that we're considering to make Mars habitable is nuking the barren red planet. The heat produced by the nuclear missiles is required for forming magnetic fields, which in turn would help organisms thrive. Let's hope that we come up with an alternative that doesn't require such destructive measures. Mars was never going to be our final destination. This is going to be like our temporary home. The search for our permanent home is still going on. We're entering a new era of discovery that will go beyond just adding new planets to the list, and now that the JWST is finishing aligning its mirrors, we can hope to come across more celestial bodies. Every day, we are making new discoveries with our technology, but in order to succeed in space exploration, we need advanced technology. We will surely get there soon enough. It is predicted that by 2030, robots will start having a more dominant role in society, and by 2040, the robot population will surpass the human population. Robots and AI are vital for ensuring a future for the human race. We can assure you that in our search for a habitable exoplanet, AI is going to play a major role. But no matter what, the quest for the ultimate truth, are we alone? Should never stop. As Carl Sagan said, the universe is a pretty big place. If it's just a seems like an awful waste of space. 
So, let's take a journey into the future of space exploration and find what we're looking for, a new home by the light of our new sun. In the region of a fading star, scientists now believe there is a planet that could support life. This would be the first time a potentially habitable planet has been discovered surrounding a white dwarf star, if the findings are confirmed. The planet was identified in the star's habitable zone, a region where life can flourish without being too cold or too hot. The findings were reported in the monthly bulletins of the Royal Astronomical Society. According to the study's lead author, a professor from University College London, the sighting was completely unique to astronomers. This is the first time that anything has been observed in the habitable zone of a white dwarf, he continued, and this makes it potential for life to exist on another planet orbiting it. When massive stars die, they become black holes, whereas smaller stars, like our sun, become white dwarfs, or stars that have burned through all of their nuclear material and lost their outer layers. They are the size of a planet when they initially form and emit a bluish-white light. The potential planet is 60 times closer to the star than Earth is to the Sun, and it is 117 light-years away. The existence of the planet is not proven, but the movement of 65 moon-sized objects about the white dwarf's habitable zone suggests it does. The distance between the structures does not change, indicating that they are influenced by a nearby planet's gravity. An expert noted, it was a nasty revelation for the team. The motion was so eerily accurate that you couldn't make this stuff up. The habitable zone is a ring of space surrounding a star in which liquid water may exist on a planet, allowing life to exist. The Goldilocks zone is so named because the planet will be too hot if it is too close to the star and too cold if it is too far away, whereas conditions inside the band are just right. Astronomers should be encouraged by the discoveries to search for direct evidence of planets orbiting white dwarfs. When it comes to astronomy, finding one usually indicates there are more. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Lab360.